all of you for being with us today. Um, I get to brag a little bit about my state today because Washington State has really been a true leader in ENT programs. Um, in May 2013, I introduced the Enhancing Employment and Training Through Education Act, a three-year competitive grant fund to encourage states to provide targeted employment and training programs similar to what we've had in Washington State. Um, we had a very successful program called Basic, Basic Food Employment and Training, what we call BFET, and this bill was the basis for the SNAP ENT pilots that were in the farm bill. As many know, ENT programs differ widely in participation and success, and even at the height of the recession, 60% of those enrolled in Washington's BFET program found employment, and in one study, less than half remained on government assistance two years after the program. Um, this is the kind of success that Washington State's produced and the kind of success we're all hoping for to see in these pilots. Helping people find good paying long-term employment in a high demand industry is the best way to ensure that everyone has access to economic opportunities. And these investments we make not only have an incredible effect on our economy, but also on people's lives. So I thank you so much for all of the work that you're doing. Um, Mr. Stillman, you, you talked a little bit in your testimony about this, um, but can you expand on what we've learned from the BFET program, the original program that informed the new pilot program that we have, RISE, and um, what you look forward to learning from RISE that we can use going forward? Excuse me. Uh, to re reiterate uh, just a bit, I think what we've learned from uh, the original program is that uh, community engagement matters. Um, and the phrase that I used earlier, uh, having skin in the game matters. So those are things that bring together that alchemical combination of local partnership, local educational partnership, local community-based organization partnership, employers. Um, and industries in a way uh, that's completely different than a top-down administered program. Um, and it is really that opportunity, I think, that we're trying to leverage as we look at the experience of our clients in that prior program. Just because we're super proud of what we did before doesn't mean that we didn't take note of the of the, let's say, 35% or so of the clients who were still struggling uh, within the program. And we looked at things like housing, we looked at uh, the criminal justice involvement, we looked at transportation, um, and, and recognized that there are some things in common that we really need to focus our attention on if we're going to lift everyone up through that process. Um, just as a closing note, I, as your comments referenced, even during the post-recession time, we had some wonderful success. The last slide that I provided all of you shows a cohort of progression from that 2009 time frame forward, um, and it is really building on that experience, building on what we've learned about the needs of families, the needs of individuals, whether they're ABODs or families. Um, how do we deliver tailored and unique services that also align with sector needs, business needs uh, uh, in a way um, that can help grow the entire economy and grow families. Um, and why do you think some states fail to make use of all their ENT funds, and what difference has this made for Washington State? Boy, commenting on why other states won't take advantage of that is uh, a challenge for me. Uh, perhaps I should start by saying thank you, uh, because in some odd way, the failure of other states to uh, to take advantage of that has meant that we've had more opportunity in some instances to draw down some additional resources. That's a sad commentary, I think, uh, in terms of, uh, of, of a loss. I, I would say, uh, if, if I were trying to put on the hat of a state that hadn't done this, I think it's that sometimes we get caught up in simply trying to deliver services within a silo. We're going to do TANF, we're going to do SNAP, we're going to do childcare, we're going to do Medicaid, we're going to do all of these things together, and we fail to have a view of the client across that set, set of systems and really understand that life does happen to our clients and we need to be able to deliver them, de deliver those services in a, in a much more braided way. But day-to-day -day demands of a bureaucracy and service delivery can be extremely challenging uh, and very difficult to, to pull back and see that big picture. Thank you so much. I'm running out of time and so I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. You're